Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to explain what is anti-malware service executable. It is kind of surprising how much users are puzzled with this process in the task manager. So I decided to explain what it stands for, why it can load your system, and how to fix this. So, what is anti-malware service executable? This is a process of Microsoft Defender, a security tool built into each Windows installation. If you expand the process, you'd see the service associated with the antivirus program. In fact, it is just a visible part of Microsoft Defender as the majority of its activities happen within system calls, services, and other stuff that is not visible to the user eye without the use of specific software. While being a legit antivirus tool, it sometimes confuses users with taking more CPU time, disk, and RAM than they wish it to take. The reason for this is really simple. It performs regular scanning. And same as any antivirus or anti-malware tool, it does three particular things during the scan. First, reads through the system disk, second, hashes the files, and third, compares the resulting hashes to the detection database. All this requires disk bandwidth, CPU calculations, and a certain amount of RAM to handle all this. And here is the first problem. Even for modern systems, losing 5-15% to of CPU power due to the background scan is not suitable. For weaker systems, the processor load may spike all the way up to 50%, and don't you dare have an HGT. It will be working at a full load, effectively ignoring all the requests to it, as anti-malware service executable will effectively jam its entire bandwidth. The other problem here is that Microsoft Defender has its own, strangely selected scan and schedule. It does not care whether you are going to render a 3D object, play a video game, or do a task in the web browser. It has a scheduled scan, and it cannot care less about your business. Such intrusive behavior makes a lot of people seek the alternative antivirus tool, but we will get to this later. But is it possible to fix this behavior? Fortunately, yes, but this one a little bit tricky. Still, nothing unusual for anyone who ever tried to change some system settings in Windows. You need to open Test Scheduler and in the left menu, click through the drop-down menu all the way down the Microsoft-Windows-Windows Defender path. I will duplicate it on the screen. In the Windows Defender folder, find the task named Windows Defender Scheduled Scan. Right-click it and opt for Disabled in the Appeared Context menu. This effectively stops the system from calling for the scheduled scans. If this does not help and you keep saying anti-malware service executable taking a lot of system power, consider disabling its real-time protection. It may particularly be the case for weak systems that may have troubles handling even this kind of activity. Open Microsoft Defender by clicking its icon in the tray, then go to Virus and Threat Protection tab and click here on Virus and Threat Protection settings. This will open the menu where the setting we are interested in is on the very top. Opt out the real-time protection option and reboot the system for a good measure. One question that a lot of people ask is whether it is possible to disable anti-malware services mutable completely. The answer here is yes, but I would not recommend doing that. It works well as an early discovery tool, which will notify you about malicious activity at its very beginning. Moreover, all the changes done to the Defender settings will be reverted with system updates, so you will be forced to go through all the steps once again. One more situation where anti-malware service executable can take a lot of CPU power is failing malware removal. You see, Microsoft Defender is quite a bit on a bugged site, both because of its own issues and once called by Windows. Due to the issues with file handling, it simply freeze on the removal stage, continuously taking a lot of CPU power for effectively doing nothing. In this case, the best option is to scan the system with a different anti-malware software. This will remove the thing Microsoft Defender struggles with. For this purpose, the best choice is Gradient Soft Anti-Malware. This effective and lightweight program will find and remove what does not obey the Defender. Aside from solving the problem, it will also be a perfect substitution to the built-in security software. Run a standard scan and let it finish. This will find the threat. Once the scan is complete, click Clean Out to remove the culprit. Removal may also take some time, as certain malware strains may create a lot of traces across the system, and the Gridden Soft program should remove them all. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.